Hey everyone, and welcome back to your English grammar lesson. Today we're going to learn all about main verbs and helping verbs. And I think I, think I have a cool way to help you see the difference between these verbs. Now, today's learning objective is to know the difference between a main verb and a helping verb. And yes, I did get a haircut. You're right. <laughs> Let's get started. What is a verb? You remember it from our last one, right? The verb is usually, usually, describing the action in a sentence, okay? It's usually the action in the sentence. No problems there, right? Now, there are two main types of verbs. There is a main verb and a helping verb. I can show you the difference, I think. I have a really neat idea here. But what is the main verb? The main verb shows all the action that happens in the sentence, right? Pretty simple. We know this. We've found it before. Just like in our action ver verb, action verb video. <laughs> now, let's take a look at a simple, simple sentence. This way you can easily find the main verb. Here we go. The man runs. What's the verb? What's the main verb? Well, there's only one verb, right? Runs. So that was pretty easy. Now we know what the main verb is, right? The main verbs are easy to find. They just match the object, right? The thing in the sentence, right? What's that thing doing? Run. Okay. So what is an, a uh, not an action, a helping verb? <laughs> what, is a, what is a helping verb? Well, the helping verb works together with the main verb in a sentence. They go together. They're like partners, but not equal partners. The main verb does most of the job, right? But the helping does a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to help you out a little, okay? So they clear things up. They add some more information to a sentence. And that's why I like to think about it. A helping verb adds extra information. And I'll show you the same idea, right? This will help you find the helping verb. Help you find the helping verb. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's look back at that original sentence. We had the man runs, but let's change it. The man is running. What's the main verb? And now, what's the helping verb? You can see it, right? Now you totally see the difference, okay? Running run was the main verb, but now we changed it a little. We added some extra information, ing, right? We gave an idea of the time, right? We've added extra information, this time, ing, running. So running is the main verb, but we also have an extra verb there, the be verb, right? Is running. So the helping verb is that the verb that makes the extra information there. Right? Before the man runs. We don't know when. We just know he runs. Right? No, sim no extra information. The man runs. But this time, we added a be verb, a helping verb. And now we know what? When? Now. He's running now. The man is running now. We can understand extra information. Okay. So we added this be verb. Right? And it helps us understand that the main verb run, there's more information about it. Run became is running. Helping verb, verb. We see this now. We see this pattern, right? Let's take a look at another sentence. We'll try and find the main verb here and the helping verb. Oh my God, it's so hot in here. <laughs> I can't turn the air conditioners on because, you know, it, was, it would sound terrible. So let me sweat while I teach you. The friends will eat dinner at 7 p.m. Oh, we got a big sentence now. We have a normal size sentence. What's that main verb and what is the helping verb? Well, we know that eat. Eat is the main verb. The friends eat. Okay. The friends do what? They eat. Cool. But we can add extra information, right? We can't we can't just keep it simple like that. Oh, they will eat, right? In the future, right? In the future, they will eat. See, we even included extra information at 7 p.m. We know that's in the future now because we said will, okay? It just clarifies everything. We added this little bit of extra information now. The friends will eat. 
Will is the helping verb. Eat is the main verb. Let's keep going. Let's try one more. The woman has won the race. Same thing. What's the main verb? What's the helping verb? Well, the woman is our subject, right? And our verb is won. The woman won. Has is our helping verb. Think about this. Think about this. The woman has. That doesn't make any sense, right? But if I said the woman won, that makes perfect sense. The main verb and the subject go together and it makes sense. The helping verb and the subject go together and it's missing something, right? You can easily see that the main verb is the main verb and the helping verb isn't a main verb, right? If we take away the helping verb, this sentence makes sense. If we include the helping verb, it makes more sense. We have more information. We understand more. Cool thing about that, we understand it now. So what are the main verbs and the helping verbs? Let's review. The main verb is the action in the sentence. The helping verb adds more information about the main verb and its action. So it's telling you more about what that verb's doing. Now, together, together, both of these together, the main verb and the helping verb come together to form a transformer. No, a verb phrase. Does it matter? I don't think it does. I don't like grammar. But that's something you should know, I suppose. <laughs> the main thing here is main verb and helping verb. They transform into the verb phrase. Ah, okay, cool, cool. <laughs> Let's practice, ready? I'm pretty sure you understand this now. So, we have one, two, three things we must do in our practice test here. Remember I told you, we have to read the directions and understand there are more things to do now. We must circle the main verb, box, draw a box around the helping verb and underline the predicate. Okay, I want you to see that because the verbs are in the predicate. Now, take a minute, pause the video, answer these questions, and when we come back, I'll give you the answers, all right? So pause it, don't cheat. Pause it, pause it. Now, I am sure that you paused the video and you have your answers ready. I'm ready, Chris Teacher, let's check. But if you didn't, pause it now. Okay, let's check, here we go. Circle the main verb, box the helping verb, and underline the predicate. Number one, I will go. I is the subject, so will go da, 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 is the predicate. We underline that, okay? So we got a predicate. Now, I go. Oh, I get that. I go. That's the main verb, right? I will what? I will what, right? There's not enough information. That's our helping verb. Hmm. Number two. They are doing chores all this weekend. Doing. They doing. Cool. I get it. I understand. They doing. Hmm. Hmm. They doing. Is it great grammar? No. But I understand it. They are. What? See how that doesn't work? R is our helping verb. Doing is our main verb. Number three. Birds have landed on my new car. That would make me pretty angry too. Landed. Birds landed. Main verb. Have. Past tense, right? They have landed. Cool. Number four. The co-workers are talking. Okay. Co-workers talking. Okay. Main verb. Co-workers are, mm, that's a helping verb. Number five, we have used. We have used, we used. I understand that, that makes sense. That's our main verb. Have, that's our helping verb, it's right before. That's pretty cool, right? It's right before. <laughs> Look at these patterns, that's what I want you to learn are these patterns. Now, number six. Coco is waiting. Coco waiting. I understand. Coco is what? So it doesn't make sense. Is is our helping verb. Waiting is our main verb. Hmm. 
I bet you did pretty good there. And if you didn't, if you have questions, send me a message. Let me know. Give me a comment that says, hey, Chris, I still don't get it, and I'll try and help you out. But I'm pretty sure that you understand this lesson. And I'll see you for the next one. Bye.